Hey there. Sean Happy and Don here. Friday live. It is not on a Wednesday afternoon. Friday, guys. <laughs> All right, special lineup here, and if if you notice, our feature product is sitting down in Mama Don's lap here. Coach found a baby. Found a baby. Belongs to Features one of our product. coaches and one of our athletes as well. Little Jackson. So that's our feature product of the day. Yeah. But today, Chase is here coaching. Yeah. And I get to watch the baby. Yay. You get to watch the baby. It's a good deal. So today, here are the topics for today. Should I exercise through, through an, an injury? injury? Um, that's we we've had a lot of encounters with people where they're they had previous injuries and are just we'll talk through it. Yeah. Um, yep. Uh, sh uh, we seek others' opinions when faced with new issues. That's one topic. Is that good or bad? So we always try to get someone else's opinion on certain things. Or all and, the opinions. And you know, we all want everyone's opinion. Is that a good or bad philosophy? Uh, po uh, uh, process, not a mm -hmm. policy there. Mm -hmm. um, a, a knee replacement journey. Uh, so episode two. Episode two. Right. Um, our featured athletes. Mm -hmm. Some there birthdays. Were, yeah. Some uh, birthdays there. And then um, just how you did get a hold of us there. So mm -hmm. first topic here. We're going to see how Jackson does here. Hopefully he's just a rock star through he's all this. Chilling. He's doing pretty good. Had a yeah. bottle. Looks good. <laughs> Should I exercise through injury? And so how do we get to this discussion is that we've had a many people that we've talked to who, who are not even athletes who both yeah, yeah both some athletes some uh, non who have mm -hmm. gone through this discouraging realization that their body is broken in a certain portion and and struggling to find how to exercise or should they exercise um, while they're recovering from an injury dealing with an injury whatever it might be mm -hmm. um, and Part of this came from one member, that, one person that we spoke to, um, that relates to your knee, your knee replacement journey, <clears throat> to where for Dawn, um, it's been a couple years where it's just less and less that you can do, right? Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. The injury, and once again, Dawn's bone on bone, um, it, with eight degrees of tilt, um, they are already, you know, they're like, yep, that's that's bad you're going to have a lot of pain <laughs> let's do something about that and so over the last two years i've mm -hmm. seen her go from running to no running to no box jumps to box steps to uh, seated squats which are often better than regular squats um, but lots of modifications there as she starts to realize her injury is getting worse mm -hmm. um, and she's still successfully coming in and getting some work done so mm -hmm with when we were talking with this other individual um, they came down to a roadblock to where all of a sudden nothing felt like they could they really couldn't do anything without pain right felt very defeated every time they yeah it's gym. just yeah. a mental defeat that is just yeah that's hard to overcome it, it really mental is. Is, is far more sometimes than what's what you're dealing with and, and talking I, yourself off those ledges and i want to say it's almost always mental right so if you're going to ask us, should you exercise in an injury, the answer is going to be almost always yes. Yes. Uh, almost always yes. Now, does that mean exercising where the injury is at? No. Right? So, um, if you got a shoulder issue, we're not going to sit there and be like, hey, we should push through this. Right? right? And if you have anyone that tells you that, run. Um, that's not smart, right? Um, but coming in and being consistent with with exercise with movement is really critical um right. we did a we did an interesting experiment um we're going to sidestep here a little bit <laughs> when we went on vacation so normally when we go on vacation our preferred method is sometimes we go into a gym there um, and we, we do moderate activity but more often than not um, we'll go for walks and then maybe a, like a, a little jog but usually a walk and we'll say, hey, when we get to that, you know, that marker up there, which might be 100 yards away, maybe 200 yards, we're going to do a round of 10 push-ups, 10 squats, 10, 10 lunges, lunges, 10 yeah, push-ups, yeah. yeah, 10 sit-ups. And then we're going to go, we you know, we go again. we're going to go do it again and we're going to go through the exact same thing where we're going to, you know, do another 10, you know, 10 push-ups, 10 squats. Yeah. And, 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 mo that, and most, um, most people's descriptions it wouldn't even classify as a workout however we notice such a difference when we just move our muscles a little bit 
so, every day yeah, by movement. And so this yep. last time we went out, um, for various reasons, I think just mental fatigue and all that, we just decided... We were doing work each day on our laptops. Yeah, we're not going to do anything. Thing, yeah. we're, we are going to keep it like, you know, we're just not going to do anything. We're just going to relax, lay by the pool. And believe it or not, we felt more destroyed coming back from a vacation of doing nothing than we typically do when we actually do something. And as we started going through that with the huh moment, mm -hmm. um, we realized that our body needs to move. It needs to get out of a chair multiple times during a day. It, it needs to stretch out. It needs, we need to keep our joints we, lubricated. We need and compound movements. Doesn't yeah. mean it, weight, but it, it's basically a stretch if you think about it. Mm -hmm. um, and so we realize now, every time we're going to go back, we're going to we're going to keep on doing some movement. It doesn't have to be this massive exercise. Mm -hmm. So that was like a little mm -hmm. sidebar for why it's just really important to move, just general. Um, but more importantly, if you are suffering with something, realize that even if you're not a member of Storm King, any if any coach that's worth their pay should be able <laughs> to design specific individualized programming for you for that day when you come in to make you feel successful. Now, it, it's a give and take. When I work with athletes with injuries, right, we, we go, well, how does this movement feel? Not good. Okay, how about this one? No. How about this one? Oh, that one feels good. Okay, let's put right. that in our hopper. Right. And we go through and we start finding a list of movements that we can do and then what movements best align with what the goal of the class is Correct. for the day. Yeah, so our number one priority is that we always want to get you similar to the stimulus that the class is getting. But like you said, we do, you know, we identify or we've already know most of our athletes that are dealing with, you know, some sort of injury or a tweak or a something that's bothering them, right? So we already kind of know that ahead of time. And then it's, if we can't get them the same stimulus because, you know, it's, too uncomfortable for them or we know that they really need to take you know a certain t amount of time off from that one specific muscle group <clears throat> then we will completely take it out and swap it out for something very different so um, and we love doing that for our members we I mean, do. we would rather do that every single day every single workout every single member if we had to to help you feel successful to go home and feel like you got a good workout <clears throat> than to suffer in silence so we always tell our athletes if it's sharp shooting pain, we don't want to push through that. If it's just muscle discomfort because you're not used to it or you're warming up that muscle, that's different. So it's really identifying with that athlete, you know, what they are, what they can and can't do. Um, but like you said, the mental part of it is 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 the biggest challenge for people. I think when you're feeling discouraged mentally, you know, it kind of just spirals into this deep dive that often people can't climb out of and it's that discouragement factor so that's really I feel like um, more helpful with members and how do we tackle that how yeah. do we get to that route how do we keep you successful just keep coming in um, and moving your body even if it's just sitting on a bike often people just tend to suffer they say they're gonna rest maybe they come in but they see the rest of the class doing it they get caught up in the moment and they end up doing things that they shouldn't do and we don't even know we're unaware mm -hmm. um, so it really takes good communication on on your part um, and we've had members recently just come in and like want to sit down and talk with us through injuries that is our jam we love that if you're yeah. working with a PT or if you are working with a certain protocol that you have from another professional we want to know that stuff. We want to be able to incorporate that into your hour while you're here. Absolutely. So we love to work in conjunction with your medical professionals um, and uh, let us, you know, get, give you this holistic approach to your care. So yeah, and I, for uh, for like you said, a, a, a real coach is coaching. They're not cheerleading you through. They're they're looking at your movement, making sure you're moving safe and, and anatomically correct. Mm -hmm. and then designing for you um, options for when to, to reach goals, designing modifications for movements, and then alternate, alternating, move, or alternating or subbing out movements that aren't appropriate for you, whether they're physically not appropriate for you mm -hmm. because of your physical ability or just because you're dealing with an injury, right? 
And so that's the job of a coach. And mm -hmm. but it's it's a two-way street. We have to have you tell us too when something's yeah. happening. Like yeah. uh, I have two different injuries coming on. Um, I'm just getting older. Um, I have a knee that's starting to act up a little bit, and I've been really easy on it. Um, but I, I noticed it's a change, and so I went and got that checked out, make sure it's okay. And I've had a, a shoulder injury for a very long time, probably six years, um, and I've always babied it. I always try to baby it uh, quite a bit. And if I see a movement that doesn't, that I feel anything, I'm like, oh, I'm not doing that movement. Right. Um, but lately, it's been getting um, where I can't quite sleep at night and things like that. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go to a PT. I want to figure out the protocol. Hopefully. I, it's a non-surgical mm -hmm. uh, process I can go through, um, but I'm following that process, and you're you're damn sure I'm going to work out as I as I can, as appropriate for what I'm dealing with during that time. So, first topic there. Yeah. Oh, Jackson, you're doing good. Let's see what happens here. Jackson's getting a little distracted. <laughs> Will our future product make I it, guys? I think that we're boring him. Will it make it? <laughs> we better we, move we on. We don't know if he will. But just one more thing on that. Members, if you are dealing with something, please make an appointment to come meet with us. Um, I can help encourage you. I can help you. And I can share my story with how I've modified for the last couple of years. However, I'm still in here every day getting a good workout. So let me help you with that if yeah. that's you. So... The next topic, we seek others' opinion when faced with new issues. Is this a good or a bad thing? I would say depends. Yeah, same. It can be good, it can be bad. Um, I think human nature is that, of course, we want to pull the people around us and ask them their stories and their opinions and have you ever dealt with this? Or we find people that have dealt with similar things. We ask their opinions and their stories and we, you know, we, we compile all the data in our, in our minds. Um, I think some people do a better job with this than others. Sometimes asking someone's opinion, you get a lot of, well, I heard from my cousin's uncle who saw this person and, you know, they, they messed them up. And so now because of that, I think you should do X, Y, Z. It's like, okay, well, that's kind of a, a long convoluted way to get some advice. Yeah. So I, I think doing your due diligence. I, I, I always think when I look for opinions from others, I want to know their mindset. Are they more looking at it in a three, you know, 360 view where they they see good and bad, or do they do they are they always a glass half empty person and they're always going to find something negative? Because mm -hmm. um, I want to, I, especially if I'm looking for something, I want to find positive stuff. I want to. It doesn't mean it has to align with my my thinking. But I want to find a person that's like, oh, whatever you do, don't, don't do this, mm -hmm. right? Um, especially if they, they don't know the why, right? Why do you think that way? Why is your opinion uh, uh, that? And, right. and if it feels like they, they look at things in a holistic fashion, you, you take it as a data point and you, you file it away as, okay, here's some data I learned from someone that I trust. Um, it doesn't make my decision on what to do but it, it's a factor, it, it weights my decision on what to do mm -hmm. potentially. Yeah, Right. There. and this goes in line with kind of what we were talking about with members and injuries, or is that what you're thinking? Yeah. Yeah, with, with getting others' opinions. I mean, it can go a million ways, but yeah, if we're referring to just dealing with, you know, injury um, or seeking medical opinions along these lines. Um, yeah, I think in that format, absolutely. I think sometimes we get a little bit, um, out. yeah, a little bit too, too many opinions going in your mind, and sometimes it's better to shut off all the voices and follow your gut. Sometimes, yes, sometimes <laughs> that is true. Right. A knee replacement journey episode two. So, as a reminder, last week we spoke about Don getting a knee replacement. We we're at the point to where we're just like, we need to do this. Um, the quality of life is not there. Um, um, we are. She's in pain basically all the time. You know, just ba barely walking is causing pain, and and that's just. It, it's you know, it, it sucks, but it is what it is. Yeah. And so, so from last week, not much has changed. Not along much those week has lines. Time, except right now, we're trying to get in with our local ortho department. So I, you, I got an appointment. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, apparently she got in. Uh, I'll find <laughs> out about when that is. We will keep you posted. And yeah. you met. 
with someone that kind of ties in with our last conversation and the conversation before that actually you met with someone who recently has just gone through the same procedure that you're looking to have done mm -hmm. very, very similar, similar age yes um, situation and has you, you she had so far knock on wood has had a really great experience uh -huh. right yes um, so that was very helpful and and someone that was very uh, even keeled with their opinion and their analysis of things and so with that we filed that away as a good data source uh, of yep this seems like the right choice we right now uh, feel stronger than before that this is what we should be doing watching Jackson here <laughs> all right birthdays do you want to yeah we had three birthdays Corky who I believe is yesterday yeah. Linnea Ling Lundquist and Kathy Braun happy birthday uh -oh. says Jackson Jackson happy saying birthday. happy birthday Jackson <laughs> can you tell us who's our featured athlete this week other than you yeah it's Tony Tony Ball Tony Ball awesome member Tony please read up her on her little story I'll in post, Mighty Network I'll post it over here over yeah. here so you yeah. can see it if you haven't met tony she comes at 10 30 most days um you want to meet her and say hi she's super encouraging and she's just fun to chat with she's super great yeah. now before we go jackson now i need you to sit there and tell them how do they if you want to sit down if you're a member you want to sit down or if you're a new athlete and they want to sit down what do they have to do they have to go follow this instructions up here right so okay, where do you want them to point you're going to go up here right over we're going to go to storm king athletic club right <laughs> You're going to click on free intro. You're going to follow these on-screen <laughs> instructions. And hopefully you get you get to come up here and meet us more likely <laughs> non. Um, we just jam. We get to talk. We want to hear your story. We want to hear your why. And um, if you like what you hear, awesome. Um, if not, it's like, hey, glad to met, <laughs> meet you. Have a good one. All yep. right, everyone. Before, good job, Jackson. Before Jackson, can we get a high five here, Jackson? Good job. Boom. <laughs> high five, buddy. Happy <laughs> Friday, because that's when you guys are going to watch all this. Happy Friday, everyone, and uh, have a great week. Have a great week, and, and we be will safe. See you out in the there. gym next week. All right, bye.